thank you for your patience on creating this video. <laughs> it's taken me a hot minute. Let's jump straight in. So today we are gonna compare the Spectrum Collections and Katie Jane Hughes brush sets. I know, it's really, really exciting. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and talk you through which set is better for whom and all that kind of jazz. Okay, 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 let's do this then. So first, excuse the glass skin. It's about a thousand degrees and I'm actually filming this at night. I don't even know what temperature is right now. I was gonna look at my phone. I'm not gonna do that. Just trust me, trust me when I say it's hot. And just before filming, I had my fan on. I can't have my fan on because it's a bit too noisy. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Okay. This exact kit that comes with a little brush towel too um, is £159.99. You can find it on offer if you subscribe as a new first time buyer. I think you get 10% off. And that works in the sale. So that's that. They do have kits, however, of individual ones that do start at, oh, and so that works at out about £6.66 recurring per brush if you break it down that way. And what's lovely, obviously, you've got this clear thing, you can see your brushes in there, you can wave at them, know they're all right, and then the towel is basically, it's a real makeup artist thing to either have a towel on your lap so you can wipe excess product off or kind of even wrap your dirty towels around it and put them back in the canister. Obviously don't mix dirty and clean brushes because that's disgusting. I quite like to clip this off and then keep dirty brushes in one and clean in the other and whatnot. They do have options on the brushes because this I'd say is quite for a real makeup enthusiast or budding makeup artist or even pro makeup artist because of the bare selection of brushes you get in here. Their kits start out, you can get a duo for $29.99, I think they're complexion brushes and then they go up from there. They also do another cool bundle with kind of edits of brushes which I think is around Two hundred nine ninety six. However, it's on offer right now as this video goes out for eighty nine ninety nine, and that comes with like the soap, which is really good. Uh, testament to the soap being good that it's kind of empty and it's quite cool because it's got this textured lid, so it agitates the brush as you um, use the soap. And it comes with. You can see I love it this brush drying towel so you can put your beauty blenders at the end and all that jazz so that's really what a gift what a gift what a gift to get and then we've got the vive one so this retails at 250 pounds that works out as 19 pound 23 because you get 13 brushes in this set oh they also do a Another set um, of five brushes for £100. Here's the sets side by side. So you've got the beautiful olive green with the kind of gold furrow, and while this is a black furrow and gold, there's a black handle with a gold furrow. I'm really tired. So that is the starting point of where we begin with these. So what they have in common is they are designed by Jamie Genevieve and Katie Jane Hughes, both wonderful pro makeup artists. Um, Katie Jane Hughes really specialises in kind of very editorial celebrity kind of clientele, Well, Jamie Genevieve was a fellow Mac girl, I salute you my friend, and she, I would say that these brushes are more of an overall kind of really focus on both have a detailing complexion but how do I I think there's just a few more I don't know let's talk about it in depth and then I can then you can make up your own mind okay I'm gonna zoom out a bit because I just got the moss behind me Ooh. oh that is zoomed out okay perfect so I don't have to hold it up as high 
Okay, so this set contains, it says on the website 25, but it lists 24. I can count 23 because I've lost one. I actually have two sets of these, which does show how good it is. Um, and I'll explain which brush it is that I've lost. They're done in kind of edit. You know, if this is, say, just for you, you like makeup, but you're not like makeup mental, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven brushes for kind of complexion highlighters. It's probably quite a lot and very intimidating. So that's what I'd say about this kit. On initially looking at it, it can be quite intimidating for someone who isn't that well versed in makeup because you might think, well, what, what the hell do you use all these brushes for? And Katie's kind of real view on why she created these brushes was because of that, to think like an artist, to really multi-use and multi-purpose the, the brushes and what they do because they do have all specific jobs and what they can achieve and obviously yeah you can multitask what they do so you know if you're a beginner this might be quite intimidating and what I've just noticed actually is well that there's actually some denting on the looks on the brush not me what if I do that Can you see there's quite a bit of like, just heard something beep, I don't know what that was. Um, there's quite a lot of denting on there, which is interesting, I hadn't actually noticed that until, it's, yeah it's actually dented in the thing, hmm, interesting, okay, anyway, that doesn't affect how the brushes, and I've had these for about a year, I think I've had the other set of these for maybe eight or seven months, something like that. So you've got a lot of different brushes from everything from your kind of bronzer brushes. You've got a few of the, uh, two of these duo fiber brushes are really great for blending creams. And these are all a vegan, you know, cruelty free fiber, which is fantastic. Obviously the fiber is white, so it can be tricky at times, like, these have cleaned up fairly well, but it can be difficult to sometimes get those little bits of product out, like it can stain a little bit if it's a densely pigmented product, which you'll see with kind of the rest of these brushes. Right, let me do a little switch. Or should I jump to, let me jump to the complexion brushes here. So there's six here. Again, probably quite intimidating to an absolute novice. But what I can notice here, I think these fibers are softer. They're both really soft though. Like that's like me saying a chinchilla soft and so is Ludo, do you know what I mean? So these are a bit more of a creamy kind of color. And I'd say they kind of look I don't know, slightly denser. These really mimic, the Vive one, really mimic just a natural fibre, which is amazing for like a vegan product. And what else did I want to mention? Something about the weight on them. Let me have a little... They probably weigh about the same. I think the Vive ones look like they'd be heavier. It's a shame actually that they're not weighted because that's a really lovely feature in a brush while these are give you a bit more balance when you're using them because they are heavier well these are kind of light as a feather that's just a personal preference thing and obviously they're tapered a little bit more like an artist brush like a little bit more slender which is quite a sexy kind of look but you know they're quite a similar there's quite a few similarities because obviously they're both makeup artists and complexion is one of the real key things there so you've got a lot of brushes for you know what I quite like actually is the foundation brush. Um, I have a Tom Ford version of this and I absolutely love it just because of the ease of blending and stuff. I think sometimes those traditional kind of brushes can be a little bit tricky to use at times. And I love the softness of the highlighter brush, like whether you use cream powder, it's freaking gorgeous. And this edit on the concealer brush, like absolute chef's kiss, yes. 
This makes me very excited. This gives me a boner. Jamie, I love this brush because it really tucks into those nooks and crannies. It's got all that kind of thought put behind the brushes. Well, you know, Katie still has that in hers, but there's a bit more detail into the complexion brushes. And this is where they completely swap because this is like, if you know Katie's kind of really editorial makeup looks, this is, you know, a variety of brushes here that go from really skinny mini, there's lots of similar shapes in different sizes. So you're getting like, let's pull some out, a few in really similar, come on, similar shapes there. Those kind of like fan ones. You've got, again, similar brushes that, joy, joy, my camera was full. Don't have to start that again anyway so i was saying you're getting a lot of brushes that are very similar in shape and they just have different sizes to them the brush that i'm missing is basically this brush come on there we go this brush but with a longer tip and i've lost them now from both sets which is a real bummer because they're freaking gorgeous. It's one of my favourite brushes from the set. Maybe that's why. I think I saw it the other day. Um, my beauty room is in a real state at the moment because my shelves are broken. Look behind me. So that's kind of what I'm living in. So everything's kind of not where it should be. I was like beginning to sort everything out and then the shelf happened. Anyway, it's happening to the other shelf too. So with some of these, they are trickier. I'm just gonna, oops pull a few out. They are trickier to clean. So you can see here where I've used red lipstick and these have been, you know, I know how to clean brushes. I've used oil on them. I've used fairy liquid. All, all the tricks that I know of, alcohol, that, you know, the colour isn't lifting out of that. I mean, Lisa Eldridge's lipsticks, what can I say? Chris, are you right to stop whistling just because I'm doing a video? Sorry, mate. See you later. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. Bye Maggie, chop some trees. And then you've got the like essential kind of spoolie brush there and that's also got a brow brush on the other side. A, um, come on. There's an angled brush there so that's got the little plastic cover on it. And there's two other brushes that I wanted to talk about in the range. So there's this fantastic, stop focusing on me. There we go. Ah. Okay, there we go. Um, there's this fantastic brush here. Can I like be half in it? There you go. The number nine, which is this kind of cleaner upper brush, which is great for really graphic eyeliners or like a really sharp lip, sharp brow. You can cut a brow with that really nicely. Not that I really do that in my style of makeup, but it gives you options. And then this brush here, I just wanted to show you the staining. It's just not come out and I've kind of tried everything so that's the annoying thing but you know it's done me really well it lives in my kit I've no issues with it I did have the other day oh god I've just done it I was using it and this was really loose and this came out I don't want I've just done it there you go obviously not what you want <laughs> so because with, I say higher quality brushes, because these are a real budget brush. If you think, I know um, on the whole, it's still a lot of money to spend on brushes. However, how the anatomy of a brush is made generally is the bristles go right kind of down and then they're pinched here. So maybe that's why they're not kind of holding on. Or maybe that's just, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know how much life that's got left in it if that's happening now. And it's not used and be used as much as like the complexion or kind of eye brushes. And then the Vive equivalent. So you've got your typical kind of spoolie with the, the brow end on there. So there's a much more fewer kind of edit, but you can still kind of do and recreate everything with this. Love just the softness of the brushes, the blend you get from them. If anything, actually, you almost want 
a slightly like this brush is quite stiff and dense you almost want that's still quite soft i'd almost want a stubbier brush if it's going to be the same fiber to really be able to pack product on but for me that is kind of my general kind of feedback on that so yeah that's kind of like the roundup on the brushes so i would say if you're looking for more luxury kind of generic kind of brush set this is lovely and this is also equally really lovely for makeup artists it looks beautiful they're so soft it's a really good quality and i believe that vive sourced the materials for these from like italy or something it doesn't actually say on the normally it says on the brush where it's from and i tried to look on the website but i couldn't see it but no um so yeah and obviously the box is really luxe i mean i probably prefer the tub because i don't know prefer a tub. And these brushes i would say the full set is great for an absolute makeup lover great detail great fun great value for what they are um let me know if you have either sets let me know if you've got any questions pop them below and i think that's kind of everything yeah if you've got any more questions about them i'm happy to answer them below let me know if you enjoyed this video this comparison i've not done one in a while and i do really enjoy doing them because it really makes me really knuckle down and think about the sets or products and compare them it's really nice to see them side by side and i'm a big fan of both of these kind of brands and people and i enjoy them both so which would you get if you had to choose a set which would you go for thank you so much for joining me and this actually comes out on my birthday so happy birthday to me cheers let's have a pint of or a prosecco of brushes shall we uh what am i like anyway thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you next time if you don't follow me on instagram tiktok for daily content go over there check it out because there's so much cool stuff going on more daily stuff yeah i'll see you next time